The soft spoken, quiet, polite, taken in the back. Please proceed. You've got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Starting after I introduce my name, Alicia Malouafiti, on behalf of Crop Life America. Anybody see Lee Cattleman in this column on Sunday? She said, an all out war is being waged against agriculture. People seem to look for new things to fight, and that particular style of confrontation has been brought to Hawaii. She didn't have this, but by mainland activists, they are the 21st century missionaries, trying to save us from ourselves. And uh, we're too stupid to know that the farmers are killing us with their GMOs and their pesticides. And so we face a session full of these types of bills. And these bills would force buffer zones on our farmers to save our ch school children from pesticide drug. Because apparently pesticides are the cause of everything in this world. It doesn't matter that the, owner, the homeowner's misuse is why 11 schools were evacuated due to pesticide odors. And it doesn't matter that the UH and the DOH reported that cancer rates on Kauai were lower than the rest of the state. But the rates of melanoma were higher on the North Shore explained by the larger proportion of Caucasians who apparently love the sun too much. But it doesn't matter that the DOH and the DOA and the USGS also did statewide pesticide water sampling and that it showed that the sediment in the surface water and the surface water in our urban streams was concentrated in Honolulu as, to oppose, as opposed to the water and sediment near our farms on Kuwait. And apparently it doesn't matter that the nit high nitrogen levels found in our coral reefs is from cesspool leaching of raw sewage into our ocean, not pesticides. And apparently that exposure puts our children and seniors at risk from skin, urinary, and other abdominal infections. So we have all these problems. But it's, it's this bill, it's such a disingenuous attempt to protect our keiki and our aina and our kapuna. Because the advocates, if they really cared about all of our people, they would support the Department of Ag funding request that was put forth last year, and then could allow the Department of Ag to do broad public education about general use pesticides. You know, the ones that caused those 11 school evacuations? The ones you can buy at any department, any home improvement store. Those are the reasons why we needed that bill last year. Not this one. It's, it's not because of the farmers. So we ask you to defer the bill. I mean, bottom line is facts, not this, these fallacies, should be the foundation for passing and making good policy. We close this bill. Thank you very much.